Hey, what's up YouTube? We are back with episode 2 of Primal Far Cry. So I am really getting back into this game. Uh, as you can see, the game has opened up quite a lot now. Uh, we can now sort of interact with the settlers. As you can see, it's grown quite a bit, our little village as well. Now this village will continue to grow bigger and bigger as we uh, progress through the game. We will slowly expand, we will grow, we will evolve in many ways. So uh, we've got two little options here, go to the shaman or go check out our little friend here. Who I was hoping that we would have some kind of relationship with her, uh, we do not. But basically in order to get more missions and new equipment, upgrades, things like that, we have to basically get her a hut and then we have to upgrade it at some point. I'm guessing that's the same with the shaman, so we need some slade, which is that rock. Uh, reeds and deer skin so obviously to find deer skin we have to go on the map find where the deer were and hunt the deer and then we've got the shaman over here now I'm gonna go over here and check him I really don't know what he's got exactly but um, probably the same deal talk yes yes strong energy good land for Ouija but missing something so he's going to he wants to heal the soul and flesh indicating that this is a sort of medical hut what do we need here wolf skin which we have reed slayed okay so I was hoping to do uh, the Chick's one over there first, but his one is going to be significantly easy. We just need the slade and the, and the reeds. I wonder if we can actually talk to her. So that's basically the medical hut, and she is... Yeah, we can't actually talk to her, but we can. I keep forgetting she is uh, fucking crazy. I mean, she's wearing ears on her around her neck, but yeah, she she's like hears the screams of her uh, fellow tribesmen in the night. So yeah, she is literally fucking crazy. Good sir. So we need uh, some slade. Now, it's been a uh, couple of weeks since I've played this game. That's how we do it. Uh, this will highlight things so we can see them, I think. There's some uh, reeds. Simple enough. And what is those? Those are goats. Basically useless. We can get some animal fat. We can get some blood. Or oh, we can't get some blood. We get some animal fat. We get some bones. Nothing that I really need just yet. Oh shit, sorry, sorry. I forgot, I forgot that, um... Oh shit, I feel so bad for that. That means attack. And that is throw. Oh crap. Oh crap. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sort of reorganize myself with uh, everything because it has been some time so I'm just going to stop recording figure everything out and then come back to it so one second okay guys I have sussed everything out again so I'm feeling quite confident I'm going to go take some reeds now he also wanted some slade which is that rock uh, let's just go ahead and activate this mode thing uh, there's some turtles over there when you get too close to the turtles they go back into their shells figures
There's some Slade. Oh, headshot. Yeah, motherfucker, yeah. Skin goat. Put some meat. Goat skin. Inventory is full of these items. Take Slade. Three, that's probably more than enough to do that hut. There's a deer. Oh dear. Headshot, yeah, yeah. So as you explore around, he will basically take notes as to what's around him. So that would mean that, um, that is not a friendly one. Wait, we can actually tame that. Where did he go? He went over here. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mother... Uh, yeah. Now, he's small. Uh, as I've mentioned before in my first episode, uh, different animals have different strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, a wolf is strong and fast, but... And stealthy. I'm trying to. Actually, I'm actually kind of stalling to think what uh, weaknesses it has. Perhaps it's not as durable as the other ones. I mean, it's a lot bigger than any other animal, so uh, it's easily attacked. Well, this one is very quick and can dart around, and mostly is used as a distraction. Uh, it climbs on people, scratches their faces, and can ultimately distract them. Distract more people than a wolf can just simply kill people. So we've got deer skin. I'm pretty sure that we required more than one, though. In goats, goats. More slade. I already got that. Antler wood. Okay, I'm really hoping that we can find another gear, uh, another deer, because it said uh, we need two uh, more goats. We're just going to go ahead and check out the map. Here we go, map. Deer. It is across the river. Is where the deer is. Oh dear. I think I see something, but it's not a deer. It's another goat. Yep, another goat. That's a deer. Damn it. Oh, didn't mean to set her on fire. Put it out. Obviously when I take the deer skin, I can take the fat as well. Goat. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this because I've got enough uh, supplies to actually build the things. I just require uh, some deer. So I'm going to go ahead and end recording here and then basically just head straight back there after I get the deer skin. So just one second again. Okay, guys. So I found out a couple of things. The deer seem to move around, so I have to constantly be on my map in order to find where the higher concentration of deer is. But upon looking, I actually found another little thing. Uh, it turns out that the Ouija, my tribe, are under attack, and I'm going to go help them out.
look how primitive these guys are. I mean, they're just so angry and search. Oh, not over yet, apparently. So we did it. Now, exactly the backstory behind our little tribe was that we lived here and then the other tribe eventually moved in. You can still find remnants of our tribe, our settlements, uh, you know, these beautifully hand-woven structures that are just like, they're arches and circles and things like that, just made into the countryside, indicating that there was some kind of ceremony or just event that went place. Uh, it was just quite beautiful, I must say. And it's just a good evidence of what really went on here. This was a thriving community. Now, I really want to tell you guys what really is going on with the other tribe. The one, the cannibalistic one, but I can't really tell you. It simply gives away too much. Uh, I'm not going to do it, at least not yet. Uh, if you write in the comments how much you'd love... Uh, this channel and want to see I uh, actually want to find out what's going on. I may write it in the description or shit the deer Fuck 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 Oh crap, uh, there's no sound coming out. Just hold on a second. Guys, for that, guys, it's something that my little game recording device does sometimes where it just stops producing sounds. Now, I should be in uh, fine, theoretically, with the big mammoths around. They are very strong, though. They're the fucking deer go. They're going up there. As long as I don't attack them, they won't attack me. Uh, or I'll get too close to them. Now, I'm obviously not going to get too close because they're fucking mammoths. Oh crap. <laughs> Got one. I hope this isn't a I hope this is a female deer and not an actual goat. He's heading this way. Heading this way. Skin deer. Yes, we're going to head back there. Okay. That was awesome. Uh, finally, another deer. So I'm just going to head straight back to the um, my little thing. This will only take a second. Okay, so I'm back at the tribe. It's I basically just fast traveled here. No big deal. Uh, hopefully we can. Hopefully I've got enough of the materials. Yes, I do. Now I'm looking forward to that because uh, I like her. She. Okay. I think she's hot. And I really want to have more interaction with her. Now, yeah, I said before I was really hoping there would be some kind of romance with her or whatever the definition of romance is back then. I guess handing her a uh, car animal carcass of some kind is probably the equivalent to a handful of roses, but what are you going to do? Rewards, missions for Slater, the gatherer. Okay, she's a gatherer. Food recipes, we got free items from your reward stash every day. So basically they just drop off what excess stuff they have and we'll give you the, and then we'll just sort of like leave them around for her, uh, you. Uh, this is the upgrade, uh, upgrade one of two. And then after that, she'll give you a mission and then uh, from then you go ahead and start upgrading again. Looks like there's another upgrade portion over here now that I look at it Is it? It is to car shelter goat skin reeds. I'm gonna do this. This is actually my um, Pad right now. I'm just living in this cave. It's pretty bitching What's this? Uh, let's have a look around 
Oh, they're the beasts that I've killed. It seems to be some kind of uh, archive. What's this one here? Club upgrade. Uh, weapons unlocked. Simple as enough. So this is like an archive system. Major locations. We haven't discovered any major locations yet. We're still uh, just scratched the surface of this game. Intro. This is the progress. This is the actual storyline. It's kind of cool that there's a whole archive system down in this cave. I just want to see what happens here. Upgrade. Alright, sweet. Let's have a party. This is obviously my bed. Uh, a lot of action happens in here, if you know what I mean. Look at these just hanging trinkets as like decorations. That seems to be some kind of bowl. They actually got flowers growing in here. Like they have a concept of decoration. Open rewards stash. This is what I get on a sort of daily basis. Uh, the more stuff I uh, have the more um, rewards I will receive. Can we upgrade again? We can upgrade for uh, episode, uh, for another one. Uh, population. Do we need a population of 40? Okay, we need a population of 40, which would mean doing missions. Now, I'm pretty sure we've used all of our resources to upgrade this, uh, this guy's tent. Uh, if so, I would just simply stop recording go get the necessary things and then come back yes reads I was afraid of that so just uh, one second again uh, so I'm back again I simply just went out and got some reads no big deal in the dark that is a female and look her, her breast is just out one of her breasts is just out that's just the way things were back then uh, just from these video games because at some point they stop being games and start becoming more of like simulations uh, which is how I really love my gaming nowadays it seems to be a good opportunity to this to you know learn more about these people okay simple enough dance Okay, population 11. We went from 9 to 11, so an extra 2. That's alright, I guess. Skills. Upgraded some skills. Here we go. Uh, crafting skills. Now, I've only got a certain amount of skills that we gain from experience. Experience from hunting, killing uh, enemy tribes, and of course, exploring. And then... When we up, uh, when we unlock their tents and then the upgraded version of the tents, we have more things that we can have at our disposal, such as uh, reveal terrain unlock. Uh, so basically, we can reveal terrain a bit quicker around us by unlocking this achievement. Uh, it's basic, uh, basically quite simple. Uh, plans are displayed on your mini map that wasn't before. Uh, then we got the beast master skills. Now tameable. Okay, we have a unlocked ability. Al can perform a dive attack and kill most regular enemies. Can free caged animals. 80 second cool time. Uh, not really relevant now. Oh, yes. Gain health. Simple enough. Alright, that was uh, pretty simple enough. Just use basic logic. Uh, looks like we're required to go down into our, our own. Don't much care for the hair, but looking pretty hot. Why don't you come back into my bed? I'm kidding, I'm dicking around. Obviously, this is the next mission. I can't really tell who that. Oh, cutscene. Okay, I've got no control over it. It's her. <laughs> So they've given us hope. 
A dead Udam. She find one. She find a dead Udam. She take his ear and club and obviously give me the club. She is like crazy and hot. Like she's hot because she's crazy. I mean, look at that smile on her face when she wants you to literally kill the opposition. Now, I think she's referring to the fact that the Udam are coming tomorrow, which could indicate that they're uh, finding that club and the dead Udam, which uh, is indicating that they're sort of moving in in our position. Let me just go ahead and that. Uh, set on fire. Bait. I've got no bait. I might as well craft that. And craft more arrows. Okay, extra club. So when that breaks, I just simply get a new one. How's it going? Okay, melee combat. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, time where the Udam attacks and we have to defend our little tribe. Uh, it's going to be fun. Okay, clubs are fast weapons and can hit multiple targets in one swing. Spears are slow and powerful and hit directly in front of you. They are more efficient when thrown. Okay, hold R2 to get a heavy attack. Stunt enemies to deal higher damage. Burning weapons and are uh, healed in front of you instead. Oh, another cutscene. Oh shit. Ooh. FYI, he's the leader of the Udam, and he is an asshole. Look at that. So we're under attack. I'm pretty sure this is like a sort of warning attack. Uh, they're not really coming to take over everything. They just want to do some damage. What a, that's a, what an asshole there. Defend your village. Here we go. Set on fire. So when this uh, animal goes out, I can re-summon the wolf. Oh crap, crap, crap. Okay, that one's dead. Here we go. I do apologize for like, being very dodgy with this uh, controller. Like I'm looking, I'm zipping back and forth, but Oh, they're attacking from be uh, behind. The club does seem to be a very efficient weapon. Oh, shit. So he's knocked out. Now he will res uh, I can heal him a bit later on. Headshot. Heal myself. And 
one more asshole. Looks like he's got an arrow, I think. Oh no, this is a new uh, introduction to a new weapon. Yep, there we go. I'm poisoned. So it's a, it's a basically a smoke bomb. Uh, it's where their land comes from. It's a resource that their village has u used to, you know, dominate basically. And it's probably the thing that's sort of sparking er uh, their whole aggressiveness as well. Maybe. Dead. Now I don't know how much uh, health I actually get from a single uh, healing session. Uh, I basically, it tells you the heal when you hit like one and a half bars left to go. Okay, so it definitely gives you more than one and a half. And it looks like we are done. It looks like we just kicked our, uh, their asses. Yeah! Fuck yeah! How's it going? So we took out their main attack. Throw their bone trees. Okay, so we have to go sort of piss them off. We have to push them back and then some. We have to make sure that they don't really come back. Uh, the flaming club, basically, if you, you know, hit it underwater, uh, it goes out. Basic physics will tell you that. Reach the Udam camp. Read. Don't mind if I do. Backpack. Hardwood. That was all. Just some hardwood. Oh, crap. Udam is still close. Wounded, dead, or I could use the red leaves to revive beasts. Okay, simply just using red leaves, that's simple enough. So the main enemy has attacked, but uh, the Udam base camps are still around and we're just going to show them that uh, we can push them back and we can push, or well, we can stop them, but also push them back considerably fur further. I'm not going to mess with them, no real point, to be honest. So the red leaves, it all falls down to the red leaves. They revive a creature, uh, an animal creature, and it's pretty good to know. I wish I had known that sooner. Uh, if I recall, you can't hold that many of them, about nine, so... And it uses up uh, a fair amount as well. Just hold on a second. Okay, two. Oh, that's a weird leaf. Don't mind if I do, though. Warning. 
Leaving mission area, return, what? Oh, okay, I, I went slightly out of where I should have gone. The fuck? I do apologize, I should have end recording. I still might actually do that just to save a few Hey there guys, I made it back. I basically just wiped out the last two minutes. So we're just gonna proceed ahead now. This is basically their camps here. As you can see, there's a little icon there. Uh, for a grappling hook. We haven't unlocked that yet. That's actually a uh, part of a new person that we haven't uh, encountered yet. I think it's a female. I think it might be a, a woman. I know there's like an another master hunter, this other female tracker, and this dude with gadgets, now that I think about it. So, destroy. I'm basically just I'm basically just doing like the equivalent to breaking into their homes and smashing all their shit up to tell them to get lost. That's essentially how bad I'm, what I'm doing. Oh crap, they are fucking everywhere. I was supposed to, this whole mission was about stealth. Oh man. Oh, I'm getting some assistance. Even our women are strong, that's pretty cool. Because... Oh, it looks like my little um, animal friend's down. Because the other tribe, this tribe here, the uh, Udam, they seem to be only men. I'm guessing that the women are just used to stay at home and, you know, well, for breeding, really. It just goes to show how primitive this uh, this uh, tribe really is. I mean, take a look at their foreheads. They are horrifically primitive, spiteful, uh, very quick to rage. They are cavemen. That's really all it is. It's they're cavemen. I'm pretty sure they're just going to keep coming. So I'm just going to keep breaking their shit as fast as possible. Look at those bone tree though. Those are, those are probably human remains. Oh, doing so triggered a lot. Kill the remaining Udam warriors. Oh, look at this fucker. He was wearing a skull for a, a helmet. Uh, one moment, please. I set that on fire. Oh crap, crap, crap. I'm still getting like hit with arrows and shit and I don't know where they're coming from. I'll take my shit back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are they, rubber everything in plutonium? Fuck. The whole, they rubbed everything in kerosene. This whole place is going up. All I did was spark one little fire. Looks like they're up here. And I'm right. Does he have anything good? Oh, I've got a red leaf. Red leaf is alright. You don't hit any button to climb, you just walk close to it. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even attack him. I don't, I don't know what happened there.
Help her up. Ul. I think that was supposed to happen. Ul. His name is Ul. I still think she's crazy hot. They seem very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, hesitant about for Wu Jai. Ouija. Daily resources are now available. Uh, so now we have expanded. Uh, missing Ouija with unique skills were last seen in the marked regions. Uh, well, we've already got the Shaman. So there's uh, the first one there after the Shaman. I should say the second one in that row. Uh, that is the uh, Hunter or Tracker. And then the one after that, I, I can't remember the other ones. She's the closest, so we'll probably go there. Yeah, the hunter, the crafter, and the warrior. Nuffle. I think that is the other tribe, which we haven't encountered yet, but it's really fascinating. Help uh, Ouija escort. These are little uh, help Ouija save capture. Uh, and help Ouija kill beast. Okay, so we have our first real outpost, I think. Or is this our... No, this is just our normal place. Shit. We killed the bone trees, and then we, we came back, and we saw that shit. That's what happened. It's quiet, man. He knows all Ouija do in the village. Man Manu. So in order to gain everything, we still have to upgrade her thing, and we need mammoth skill and uh, and forty and a population of forty, which we still don't have. So it's going to be some time before we can upgrade a tent. So it says two of two. So I'm guessing that uh, we're not going to be able to upgrade her tent for some time, and then that will be it. Once we upgrade it again, uh, it won't be anymore. But once we do, it will look even better. There'll be a lot of detail on it, trinkets hanging around, uh, weapons, stuff like that. It says there's some sort of backpack over here. I'm just looking around this location and I'm not... Oh yes, here we go, the crazy shaman. Uh, looks like he's got a new mission for us, so we're going to go see him. But before I do, I'm going to go check my rewards, which are provoked, uh, given to me daily. Oh, I stood in the fire. Where are, my, where are my rewards? Here we go. Reward stash. I'll take that. Village resources. So what we got? We got food, weapon resources, villager resources. That's simple enough. You know, the wood, slade, animal skins. We will receive jack shit of these. So our, our inventory is a bit unique. Uh, we, it's unlimited but in a sense, it's also limited because uh, we can just grab whatever we want, but we can only grab a certain amount of them. So such as meat, uh, bone, flowers, a certain type of flower, things like that. So we, but other than that, we can grab one of 
or at least one of everything in the game. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, this interact. I think this is the uh, DLC. I'm going to come back to that. I'm not going to do that now. I'm pretty sure there's multiple DLC. So this will be for another episode. Right now, this episode is too packed, and that DLC is going to take some time. That is the um, Mammoth one. And he's also asking us to go in there, so as soon as we go into the Shaman's Tent, we're going to trigger a cutscene, but I want to go in. How do you know? The spirit hungers for another vision. Oh. Uh, no, thank you. I think I'll pass. Oh, that's so gross. He drank that whole fucking thing. See through the eyes of the Udam. Did he swallow the eyeballs? Interesting concept. Now we can actually see through the eyes of the Udam and hopefully, ooh. Vision of ice. This is interesting. Find the stone woman statue. I think this is the introduction to the other tribe that they are also competing with. The fire tribe who are Fucking crazy. Why do we keep crying? So this is the Udam. Uh huh, it, this guy's just banging his head. This guy's just... These guys are just doing random shit. That woman's got her tit out. Do not touch. Uh, you see, it's a sort of revealing uh, clues to what's really going on with them. Interact. That is a Venus um, artifact. A Venus statue, uh, which is just code for, like, female idol sort of fertility thing. What the fuck? Look at this beast. Find the stone statue. Stone woman statue. So this must be their like homelands. He's not playing as himself, he's playing as another Udam. Nope, no, we're definitely um, playing as ourselves. Whoa. They're turning to snow. So there's a lot more to this game than I remember because I got this game, I loved it, I played it and put it down. I never really thought about analysing it like this. And it is just really opened up the game. It's, it's crazy, it really is. And I'm loving every second of this. Now these guys live in pretty harsh territory. This is probably still Oros, but in the winter. And they live in the these lands here. Obviously everywhere is covered in spikes to keep out enemies. Uh, we saw before that they are a very aggressive, very primitive people, and they worship the um, idol. Those people who just ran, I think they were us. Now, at the start of this mission, okay, he said something. Some, well, someone said something. It was, why do we keep dying? Why do we keep dying. That is the 
Well, that's it. That's the secret I've been trying not to tell you. The Udam are dying of a mysterious illness. They are literally just fading away. They're dropping dead. They're getting sick and dropping dead. And only the strongest can survive and repopulate. And even them is still getting pretty dodgy. This might be the reason why they're so primitive. Uh, a combination of uh, you know, incest uh, relations, uh, incest, in, incestual inbreeding has caused them to be violent and crappy. I mean, they're um, breeding the only people who can survive the illness, yet uh, they're breeding with each other. That's just a theory. But the Udam are dying out, and they were, there was a lot more of them. These are like empty tents, uh, empty homes that have just been abandoned now. They're empty because their, their residents died out. Now it's obvious that they don't have any concept of sickness. In order for them to be uh, healthy again, they just have to sort of change their way. So in a way, the Udam are uh, they're, they're bad, I mean, they're obviously really bad, but in a way you should kind of feel sorry for these people because uh, they're dying out and there's a chance, now this is just a theory, that eating human flesh could provide enough proteins and especially in the liver, they probably haven't figured out that eating human liver but or kidneys and things like that, but it's possible that eating these human flesh or at least human organs or whatever eating people might uh, have beneficial results uh, when dealing with their uh, with their um, sickness I mean I know that eating human liver is probably one of the best things that you can uh, one of the healthier things that you can do when it comes to eating humans and Supposedly, uh, by eating human flesh, they would at some point eat human liver and gain the, its benefits. The Udam seek blessings. So, this is the concept of early on religion as well. Stone Woman hears not their cries. They're sick and they're praying and they're crazy. And they're breeding, they're incestingly breeding and they're. They've been dying for some time now. Now this Ooh, this this leader of them, he is fucking crazy. He's got the armor made of bones, which are probably human bones. Now that is their statue. They've got that at their home base. Fuck. They've got that at their uh look at it, it's actually got breasts. They they've got that at their home base tribe, which we won't get for some time. Look how much damage I'm taking. Next to nothing. Now, uh, yeah, you can end this, uh, the storyline by simply taking on uh, the two tribes. It doesn't matter which order you do it. Just as long as uh, you take out the two tribes. Now, if I remember before, I took out the Udam tribe first and then the Fire One. And we haven't even encountered the Fire One yet. Stop Udam attack. So they want Oros to themselves and... They're eating human flesh because they're fucking crazy. I want this asshole die. Alright, did it. Oh, 
Okay. Press and hold to throw your club. Okay, that's what that's what I was doing wrong. Oh, the club itself is made of ice. Is this spike sticking out of ice? There we are, eat a dick. I'm getting attacked, but we're from. Oh, okay, archers. So I have to find. Oh, what am I doing? I have to just shoot them with the. Uh, hit them with the arrow. Uh, the eat on that. So it's actually got full physics for the weapons and arrows, that's pretty cool. Look at this thing, frozen. This is a metaphor for a... Um, I have to throw the arrow at her? Are they... Okay. Why do we keep dying? They're sick, they've got a virus, probably virus, possibly bacterial, but most likely virus that's affecting them genetically as well. And they're just dying off, simple as that. They're just dropping dead, they're not producing, reproducing, and the ones that are producing, uh, or at least have some kind of immunity to it, they're being inbred. It's a pretty messed up situation, and that's what it is with them. Don't smell me. No oh, thanks to you, asshole. Sick, dying. Go feel stomach, which means just leave and go eat or something. So the, I mean, the game is far more interactive and just all out awesome than what I thought. Big Dwaram Fort. Capture this heavy guard Udam Fort and confront the commander. So yeah, they are sick. They are dying. They are in trouble. Okay, so we're now we're going to go ahead and go find the Beastmaster. Now, I don't know if uh, the Hunter. Now, I don't know if we will do the mission uh, associated with her. She probably, most of them won't join us unless we do a series or a mission or a series of missions for them in order for them to join us. So we're going to probably have to do that. Yeah. That shaman is crazy. They, they all seem a little crazy. I guess, you know, being under constant attack and just everyone's like shook up. Uh, they've been surviving for who knows how long. Now, at the start of the game... I don't know what you're saying, and uh, Ooga Booga, I guess. Now, at the start of the game, we had uh, our fellow tribesmen heading towards Oros, what, and they were attacked by the tiger. Obviously, not all of them died, so where the fuck are they? Okay, she knew someone who went out hunting but hasn't come back. Now, I don't know if she knew him recently, like during the development of our little community or before I showed up. Oh, I see. Okay, no I don't. As you can see, there's these hands here. If you want to 100% the game, you have to find all those little hands. 
I don't really know what they mean. Uh, unknown location, and look look how big this game is. It goes pretty far out, uh, as well as up. Yeah, we have only touched a small. Now, if I recall, the Udam camp is somewhere up here, and the fire one is obviously just somewhere. Whoa, this, oh fuck, this keeps going, it's somewhere down there. Okay, that's uh, Jama, the hunter. Skills. As you can see, look, um, I can't point, but if I were to go down, as you can see her, there's that hunter, there's the warrior, uh, the craftsman, and then uh, we have these two here, the commander. Now these two down here, these will be prisoners that we take, um, and they will come to us, they will work with us. I believe the fire one here, this guy here, he ends up um, becoming good friends of us, realizing that our way is the best way, and then sort of converting to our tribe. So I'm just going to do this major mission. I'm going to stop recording and just basically head there because obviously it's a quite a bit of a walk away. Uh, if I see anything good, I'll start recording again, but that's what's going to happen. So, yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. So I haven't made it there yet. Uh, I've still got quite a ways to go. I just thought I'd start recording because I really want to show you guys. Now this trail is like zigzagging up the mountain and it's just incredible. Uh, look at this, I'm finding all these decorations here. Now these were put here by the Ouija. I'm starting to suspect that this was all Ouija territory and uh, this is, you know, placed here by that. Look at that, that uh, stacking of stones, uh, the incredible walkways. I mean, this is just all, this is our tribe. Um, this is, you know, our represent representation of our tribe's design. And I just thought I'd show you this pathway because it's just really fascinating to see. Hey, there's a camp. This could have been made by a hunt, uh, that hunter chick that we're after. This could have been made by anyone, really. Uh, let's take a look. Where am I supposed to go? Path says this way. Oh no! Oh, we can't get to her. We need the um, we need the claw thing, and we can't get it yet. We have to um, meet the craftsman, I think. So it's kind of like a rock paper scissors thing. We have to get one thing in order to get another thing, and then that thing to get another thing. So we just can't get her now. So this is probably going to be the end of the episode. I do apologize. I was hoping to at least meet her before the end of the episode, but it didn't work out. We simply just can't get to her at the moment, so that's going to be for the next episode. Um, so I'm Steamtown Gamer. Obviously, this is my channel. Uh, I've got another channel called uh, Back in Time Gaming 101. Uh, if you like the PlayStation 2 or Xbox games, anything with an AV, uh, just check out that channel because I love to upload the old school games there as well. It's relatively new at the time I'm recording this. I Once again, I don't know when you're watching this, so there's not much to that. Uh, this is a fun game itself. Now, I want to hear any other games that you would suggest me playing next because I love to play video games, and I want to hear from you guys uh, as well as any comments about this game. You know, facts about the games, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, tips, anything like that. Just write them in the comments. So, you know who I am. You know what I do. I shall catch you later.